Oh crap, that's hot. So apparently a lot of people like my first video. So I'm back. I wasn't quite sure what to talk about. The original reason I made the first blog post is just because this app was so awesome I wanted to share it. The real hard part is like coming up with stuff to talk about. So a lot of people started asking me in the last video, you can see a little little clip in the sequence of me playing Dungeons and Dragons. And a lot of people started asking me about that. Every Wednesday I go down to another campus on my university and we play Dungeons and Dragons. Originally I joined the club because my mom wanted me to do something social. Like sports or an acapella group. I don't I don't think this is quite what she expected. <laughs> now most people when they meet me they don't think I'm a nerd. But like they start to clue in once they start talking to me. Like anytime anyone mentions cake I go a little berserk. This was a triumph. <laughs> or whenever me and my friends make plans, and I was like, Morgan, you need to be here at this time. You know, most people think time is a straight progression of cause to effect, but it's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. He is like fire, burning through time. His old as forever, the past in his bright. I saw his blue spaceship materialize. He looked out and said to me, run for it takes a little bit for people to discover the true me, but you guys found out right away. So basically where the game usually begins is you start off in a tavern and then you have to go on like funky adventures and stuff. At first I thought it was just gonna be like community and it was just gonna be like a one day thing. No, apparently campaigns can last for years. I signed this in my blood. So this is my character sheet. So my name is Namine Kilgara. I'm a first level druid. Druids get animal companions. I'm pretty badass in this game because I have a wolf. My wolf's name is Fenrir. He is the destroyer of worlds and the seducer of women. I am an Aventi, which is like a human except you can breathe underwater. My deity is Glob. Basically all the description stuff, it just makes her look like Daenerys Targaryen. I was really stupid when I first made this sheet because I thought, oh yeah, I'll be really cool. I'll be like the one that's good at talking to people and stuff. So I have a lot of charisma points. Not a lot of strength points. There's not a lot of talking in the game so much as there is fighting. It just kind of reminds me of my RuneScape days when I was like 11 and I would just buy pretty dresses and dance for money. Not actually... I'm just figuring out how bad that is. So I went out nerd shopping with the, with the gang the other day and I got my first mini. This is my nominee. They didn't have any wolves. She used to be orange and stuff, but I painted her so she looks more like Daenerys. Like when you go to these nerd shops that they took you to, you have to go up to the counter and be like, can I see the Dungeons and Dragons mini binder? I was actually like super embarrassed going to all the nerd stores and being like, yes, can I please have a mini? I'm, I'm slowly coming out of the nerd closet. I would highly recommend playing Dungeons and Dragons for anyone, nerd or not as long as you have no shame. It's it's a kind of a commitment, but it's so much fun. And to everyone who says nerds don't have lives, we have lives. It's just much cooler than everyone else's. Hi, I am O'Brien, and on the long list of things that I am not okay with, I am not okay with Slenderman. All my friends make fun of me because I'm so scared of Slenderman. For the longest time, I have just refused to play this game. I've played it a little, but only with friends, so... You know what, I thought, you know what people will like? Let's turn the lights off in my room and let's play this game alone and videotape my reaction. That'll be really funny, people will love that. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm done, no, okay, I can't do this. It's so dark. <laughs> slow. Is there like a run button? It's just a bunch of trees. Why are trees so scary? Why am I going so slow? Why is this person so calm? They're being stalked by a faceless guy in the middle of the forest. You guys have no idea how much I just want to shut this off right now. This is for you guys. I hope you're happy. There's a freaking note. I seriously can't do this, so... I'm really sorry guys, but I'm gonna record this again when I have a friend. I, I can't do this. Uh, so I'm gonna get somebody and I'm gonna get them to record with me because I cannot do this alone. I am so sorry. Uh, I wanna play Portal instead.